Welcome to our class. So our next topic is ratio proportion and variation. So what is ratio? A comparison of two or more numbers that indicates their sizes in relation to each other. Quotient of two numbers or identities. So we have examples here. A over B. The ratio of 5 is to 12. Which can be written also as 5 over 12. X plus 2 over the square of X and feet over yards proportion equation of two numbers or identities states that two ratios are equal so example a over b is equal to c over d or a is to b is equal to c is to d so another example x over y is equal to 10 over 3 and x plus 1 over 5 is equal to 2 over 2x plus 3. So, sabi niya doon, states that two ratios are equal. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng proportion. That, uh, example, itong ratio na to, a is to b. So, equal siya dito sa c is to d. So, uh, yun yung proportion. So, in a is to b is equal to c is to d. A and D are called extremes, and yung B and C natin are called means. So, in any proportion, the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. So, example, number 1, X is to 25 minus X is equal to 3 is to 7. Solve for X. So, we can write this as X over 25 minus x is equal to 3 over 7. So, let's sol solve for x. So, cross multiply. 7x is equal to 3 times 25 minus x. So, 7x is equal to 75 minus 3x. So, ilipat natin yung 3x sa kabila. So, 7x plus 3x is equal to 75. So, 10x is equal to 75. Therefore, x is equal to 75 over 10. Or, x is equal to 7.5. So, next example tayo. The area of a quadrilateral is 64 square feet and its longest side is 10 feet long. Find the area of a similar quadrilateral whose longest side is 15 feet long. So let us assume na yung quadrilateral natin is a rectangle. So let's call this A1 and A2, L1, W1, L1. W2. So, given yung area natin sa first uh, rectangle, so 64 square feet. And L1 is equal to 10 feet. So, para makuha natin yung uh, width niya, so sabi natin, area is equal to length times width. So, 64 is equal to 10 W. So, W is equal to 6.4 so, para ma-determine natin yung uh, area ng isa pang quadrilateral, so we will use uh, ratio and proportion to determine yung uh, width ng isa pang uh, quadrilateral. So, let's say L1 is equal to L1 over L2 is equal to W1 over W2. So, let us use ratio and proportion. So, L1, ano yung L1 natin? That is 10 feet over L2 so this is L2 L2 is 15 feet it's equal to W1 which is 6.4 feet and W2 yun yung hinahanap natin so W2 therefore W2 is equal to 6.4 times 15 over 10 so, W2 is equal to 9.6 feet. 
Therefore, makukuha na natin yung, sub, uh, yung area ng quadrilateral, which is area is equal to length times width. So, area 2 is equal to length natin is 15 feet times 9.6 feet. Therefore, area 2 is equal to 144 square feet. So, next, variation. Mathematical function that relates the value of one variable to those of other variables. So, meron tayong tatlong uh, classing variation. So, first is yung direct variation. So, let, let y be a function of x. Then, we can say that y is proportional to x. Or, y varies directly as x. Or, y is directly proportional to x. Or, y varies as x. So, if y is directly proportional to x, so y is directly proportional to x. So, para maging equal sign yung uh, alpha natin dito, so, mag introduce tayo ng k, which is yun yung uh, constant. So, magiging y is equal to kx na siya. So, which yung k is yung constant of proportionality. So, ito yung graph ng direct variation na uh, directly proportional yung x dun sa y. Na kapag uh, tumataas yung value ng x, uh, at the same time, tumataas din yung value ng y. So, examples. The circumference C of a circle varies directly as the radius R because C is equal to 2 pi R where the constant of proportionality is 2 pi. So, sabi natin, C, circumference C varies directly as the radius. So, para ma, maging equal sign itong alpha natin, so, mag-introduce tayo ng constant, which is yun yung 2 pi. Kaya, C is equal to 2 pi r. So, next, if y is proportional to x squared, then y is equal to kx squared. So, next variation is inverse variation. So, let y be a function of x, then we can say that y varies inversely as x or y is inversely proportional to x. So, yan. If y, pag y is inversely proportional to x, so ano yung inverse meaning? Uh, ring yung reciprocal ng uh, x. So, 1 over x. So, para ma maging equal sign ulit ito. So, mag introduce tayo ng constant which is yung k. So, y is equal to k over x. So, inversely proportional ibig sabihin uh, as y, kapag nag increase yung y mo, so yung x mo naman is nagdi-decrease. So, next is yung joint or combined variation. So, let z be a function of x and y then we can say that z varies jointly as x and y or z is directly proportional to x and y or z is proportional to x and y or z varies as x and y so uh, joint variation ibig sabihin uh, yung z uh, varies propor directly proportional siya sa x and y so example to say that z varies directly as x and y and inversely as w squared means that z is equal to kxy over w squared. And if p is equal to 10x squared y over z raised to 3, then p varies directly as x squared and y and inversely as z cubed. So, sample problems tayo. Number 1, n is inversely proportional to the square of x and when x is equal to 2, n is equal to 50. What is n when x is equal to 5? So, sabi natin, n is inversely proportional to the square of x. So, n is inversely proportional to the square of x. So, inversely, so 1 over x squared. So, para maging equal sign yan, mag introduce tayo ng uh, constant. So, n is equal to k over x squared. So, sabi niya dun, when x is equal to 2, n is equal to 50. So, let's substitute. 50 is equal to k over, so yung x natin is 2 raised to 2. 
So, k is equal to 50 times 4 or k is equal to 200. So, so what is n when x is equal to 5? So, yung magiging formula natin. So, n is equal to k which is yung 200 over x raised to 2. So, substitute natin yung x. So, n is equal to 200 over ano yung x natin? So, 5 raised to 2. Therefore, yung n natin is equal to 8. Next problem. The electrical resistance of a cable varies directly as its length and inversely as the square of its diameter. If a cable 600 meters long and 25 mm in diameter has a resistance of 0 0.1 ohm, find the length of the cable 75 mm in diameter with resistance of 1 over 6 ohm. So, sabi niya dito, electrical resistance varies directly as its length and inversely as the square of its diameter. So, R varies directly as its length. So, directly as its length and inversely as the square of its diameter. Inversely as the square of its diameter. So, D squared. So, para maging equal sign yan, mag-introduce tayo ng uh, constant which is yung K. So, R is equal to KL over D squared. So, if a cable 600 meters long, so, substitute lang natin yung mga given. So, if a cable is 600 meters long and 25 mm in diameter and has a resistance of 0 0.1 ohm. So, substitute natin. So, yung resistance is 0 0.1. So, 0 0.1 is equal to K times yung length ng cable is which is 600 meters over yung diameter niya so 25 mm raised to 2 therefore masasolve natin yung k so k is equal to 5 over 48 so masasolve na natin yung length ng cable kapag ang diameter niya is 75 at resistance niya ay 1 over 6. So, isa substitute lang natin dito sa formula natin. So, resistance is 1 over 6 is equal to K which is yung 5 over 48 times yung L natin over yung 75 mm. So, solving for L. So, L is equal to 9000 meters.